Okay guys, I'm walking through Manila right now because I was invited to, uh, to the event and um, it turns out the event starts two hours later than, than presented in the email because I guess like a hidden agenda to get the room full of people because they would, they would come two hours late because of the traffic and it's just a thing. And I, I came up with the idea what do people need in this country and what do they not need. Like traffic is one of the biggest, biggest problems of this whole city and it occurs to all bigger cities but Manila is in an especially dire situation and I I don't know, it's like it's one of the things that the city just needs more than anything because it's, it's I think the word is scorch something that keeps you in a negative state all the time and this is like the biggest problem in the city is traffic and that's because they build in three dimensions, but they have transport in two dimensions, like any other city, but they have to figure it out. Before they build other buildings of high density, like those, and then on those tiny roads, where only three, four cars can pass, and then no infrastructure that supports a high, a high number of traffic. So terrible there's no public transport system there's no subway I mean there's a traffic public transport system but it's very inefficient and it's highly polluted and well you gotta ask yourself why do they let people build this way because politics policies and politicians they don't have it in their hands or they have it in their hands and then they you know they take money to let other people build those buildings, big companies, big developers. And those say, this is our only way to accelerate GDP. We have to build buildings. It's one way of exporting, you know, services like BPOs and other um, commercial, commercial areas that they are renting out and making money. So they justify the reason to build high, but they have no incentives or very little to, to to upscale the, 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 the public traffic system with a centralized bus system, electronic vehicles, because pollution in the city is incredible. They have those old Japanese truck engines imported on very low tariffs, and they build them in those jeepney vehicles, and then those vehicles just pollute the air so much. It's incredible. And yeah, so. There's a few things they don't need, I think. A few things that they don't need is they don't need so many securities. If they had a centralized policy, I mean a centralized police force that would take enhanced public problems. They, they have huge trust issues from one to another. It's like on the individual basis and on, on, on the... And it's because they have a corrupt law system. And that's because they have a corrupt moral compass sometimes. They, they, they think badly about the, the mutual people just every Filipino thinks bad about another Filipino thinks he just wants his own way egotistically and then trust issues with themselves they don't believe in themselves and then the whole society is, is suffering under all these problems and you won't find out unless you're here and of course I'm just talking and it but whenever there's the next big decision a Filipino has to make he has to make this with the conscience of the people, make, make with the conscience of the bigger self, the bigger picture. And I hope that some people get the chance to travel to Europe or the States where, I mean not everywhere, of course there we have big problems too, but we have different kinds of problems. And people just should have a, a different perspective on things. Like this huge building, and then this is the only, this is the only road leading to it. And then, as you can see, it's congested on that side. And it's completely free on that side. And those problems have to be addressed. And they have to be solved. Because they are only getting worse. So public subway, centralized bus system with electronic vehicles, and, and enticing, um, making the purchase of electronic vehicles more attractive in imports, like Japanese cars have to say here, and also 
mostly diesel engines and then there's just one person in a huge diesel truck polluting the city and the environment it's it's nonsensical it doesn't make sense to me and it's it's hard to see it and yeah those those three things and then a barber for me so yeah all right see you later guys <laughs>